send this report to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and have them delegate each of the tasks on the list to the appropriate departments. Also, be sure to tell them that though the lantern rite may be complicated, everything must be done properly. Hello, Lady Mingguang. It's us again. No, of course not. You are my honored guests. And given oh, the looks better of be. you two, I presume that you're here to celebrate the lantern rite? Yeah, lantern rite 2022. Right. So As always, there will be a variety of activities taking place. Oh, but there is one of particular interest. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is planning a fireworks show this year. It should they certainly last be year? worth your time. Releasing Ming Shao lanterns has always been at the heart of the Lantern Rite. Yeah, I still got some but of last year's lanterns. But has occurred in Liyue as of late, I think the people of the city need something to warm their hearts. A feeling of everyone coming together in solidarity. So, I believe that this year calls for a celebration of particular magnificence. Something mm -hmm. that would be closer to the hearts of every citizen. We are currently in the process of placing fireworks at various locations all throughout Liyue. We shall choose a timely moment during the festival to set off all the fireworks in unison, allowing the sparkling lights and excitement to resonate with the hearts of the people. Fireworks? But we've already seen fireworks in other places before. <gasps> Is there something special about the fireworks in Liyue? Fireworks were originally developed alongside many other inventions here in Liyue. When our ancestors first created fireworks, they were originally known as firecrackers. Their bright flashes and loud sounds were often used for warding off beasts or as warning signals to other people. In those days, it was difficult for people to contact one another while out farming the land, so they would carry firecrackers with them to give signals when necessary. But people's lifestyles began to change after Leo Harbor was founded. They no longer had to travel out of town to tend the fields anymore, so the use of firecrackers for emergencies also began to dwindle. Well, why would they but need to travel out of town? Customs, Their farms are the still in town. The spirit of the firecrackers has been passed down to this very day. We made improvements to firecrackers and began setting them off during the lantern rite to commemorate the tenacious spirit of our ancestors. <laughs> Classic Liwa. Wow. Everything has so much history in Liwa. As I'm sure you already know, everything on this land accumulates history and value as time passes. That is the nature of Liyue. I, I think that's just the nature of everything. I've left in charge of the fireworks show. If you're interested, why don't we pay her a visit together? I would love to visit her. I hope she's wearing her new outfit in the cutscenes. That'd be great. The blazing stars ring in fortune. Alrighty. Oh no, she's not wearing her outfit. No. Disappointment. We need to add a few more locations for launching fireworks. The show has to be visible all across Liyue, not just in the city. They celebrate Lantern Rite in Chingsa Village too, you know. Okay, screen is back. Let's do this. <laughs> but, Lady Kuching, what about our budget? Fuck the budget. <laughs> is exactly what it's meant to be. It's the necessary amount of funds to properly carry out a task. If you think the current budget will not suffice, then we'll simply have to apply for more funding from the Ministry of Civil Affairs and wait for their approval. Our aim is to organize a memorable lantern rite. The budget is there just to facilitate planning. We mustn't lose sight of our goal. Yes, Lady Kuching. I understand. Good. And please remember, safety first. <sighs> oh, it's Ningguang and the Traveler. Good to see you. Are you here for the lantern, right? Your timing couldn't be any better. The preparations are almost complete. I'm reviewing the positioning of the fireworks and double-checking the relevant facilities. It's all in a day's work. Forgive my directness, but if I'm not mistaken, you could just as easily leave these tasks to your subordinates. 
You've already been working around the clock these past few days. I am sure a break would not be amiss. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Really, I can handle it. Pungi, please redraft our plans, make a summary report, and send it to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm going into town to check the progress of the fireworks setup. I'll return shortly. As for you, Traveler, you're our esteemed guest. Please, take the opportunity to stay in Liyue Harbor and enjoy the festivities. Pungi, is everything clear? Please remember the tasks I've God given you. God damn, get off his back. <laughs> like, Jesus. Good. Ningguang, Traveler, goodbye for now. Please, excuse me, Lady Ningguang, and, uh, Traveler, I must get going. Lady Kuching told me a great deal of information, and I have to write up the plans from scratch again, so time is of the essence. Oh, one moment, I almost forgot. Here, Traveler, this is a launch tube. Lady Kuching what? said you may be interested, so she had me keep one to give to you. Okay. Someone with good handicraft skills should be able to use this to design their very own fireworks. You should really? When you have the chance. So that's one of the special gadgets we're getting. Okay. Paimon couldn't get a single word in just now. Uh, well, more like Paimon didn't dare open her mouth while they were talking, but still. Did you notice it uh, an imposing here? presence? Lady no, she's just being a bitch. A lot more outspoken than she used to be. And she seems a whole lot busier, too. Wonder why? Ever since the Adepti left Leo Harbor in the hands of mortals, we Chi-Sing have taken up the responsibility of leading the people. We have taken charge of many vital tasks in various sectors, and we are responsible for planning and organizing all sorts of affairs. That said, being in charge of everything inevitably takes its toll. It's exhausting at times. Jiangzhou was responsible for planning the Lantern Rite in former years, but her father is getting quite old now, so she transferred to another department this year. In the end, the Lantern Rite planning was left to Kuching and myself. I am the head organizer, while Kuching is responsible for the highly anticipated fireworks show. Such an important event should be entrusted to the most qualified candidate. Kuching is disciplined, yet passionate about her work, so she's naturally the best fit for the job. She's definitely disciplined! No doubt about that! Absolutely. She is strict with both herself and others, to the point that she can even become overly involved at times. She's worked several days without a break now. Okay. I'm concerned about the effects it may have in the long run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> balance is an essential concept in Liyue culture. I don't know I've about that. Almost every character is you know overworked. She, is. she uses her wit to talk circles around anyone. Traveler, you are quite close to Kuching. Oh, yes I am. Why don't you try talking to her? Maybe she'd listen to someone as experienced as you. Thank you, Traveler. I am glad you are able to help. Kuching can be a tough nut to crack sometimes. A tough nut I to crack. I still have other business to attend to at the Jade Chamber. <laughs> oh. I'll leave Kuching in your capable hands. Uh, are you sure you can really persuade Kuching to take a break? Even Ningguang herself couldn't manage to convince her. Besides, before you can persuade someone, you have to at least understand how they feel at the moment. Kuching has been working non-stop without a break. Uh, duh! Come on, everyone <laughs> knows that. Think harder. How does she feel deep, deep down inside? Uh, when did this become a Kuching hangout event? Maybe. <gasps> <We can't gasps> about these things. Hell yeah, let's go see Zhongli. Zhongli? Oh, there's no arguing that. Zhongli it is then. Hmm, Paimon thinks he's still a consultant at the Wangsheng Payroll Parlor. Let's go see if he's there. There better be Hu Tao as well. I better see Hu Tao. Uh? 
Hello. How may I help you? Ah, yes. Well, I'm afraid he is currently out with the director. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, you mean for work? The director said that they were going for a walk. If you'd prefer, you could go look for them at third round knockout. I've heard the director often goes there to do a uh, promotion. Promotion, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I remember playing Hu Tao's Quest, <laughs> fucking going around, promoting. That was great. <gasps> Jang Ling too? That's unexpected, but hell yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, I am so full. Not another bite. Hats off to you, Xiang Ling. Serving the grilled fish with a dipping sauce is quite an innovative approach. The flavor... It's just to die for. <laughs> That's my I like it. Just to die sauce. for. Nice. I good job. Would taste great. Hmm. Tempered Jueyun chili powder mixed with garlic paste and chopped scallions. Then seasoned with salt, vinegar, and soy sauce. Before finally sizzling in hot oil. It is insane how well the English voice actor fits Zhongli. It's, an, it's insane. This recipe may seem a bit crude but is entirely hinged on the precise balancing of flavors and seasonings by the chef. Everything must be balanced just right. It is the consummate mastery of this balance that turns a humble dish into an exquisite one. Oh, that's quite the compliment, don't you think? <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you, Mr. Zhongli. And I thought I have a way with words, but you certainly take the prize, Mr. Zhongli. You are too kind, Director. Your eloquence is... <clears throat> infamous. In <laughs> infamous. The Harbor. Yeah, that's the way I'm putting it. Oh, Goba. What's that? Oh, would you like to order something, Goba? Oh, please, by all means, it's my treat. I'll just open a tab under Xiangling. <gasps> what? Hey, are you guys talking about tasty food again? Oh, it's the Traveler in Paimon. What brings you to this side of town? Hold on, let me take a wild guess. Hmm, yes. Oh, you must be here for the Lantern Rite. Uh, isn't that pretty obvious? <laughs> Anybody could have guessed that. Oh, yeah, come Goddamn, on, Paimon. can't you take a joke? For real. You came at the perfect time. I was just letting everyone try my latest dish. The owner of Third Round Knockout says it's, it, well, a real knockout. <laughs> nice. Mr. Zhongli and Hu Tao seem to like it too, but I think it never hurts to let more people do a taste test. How about it, you two? Would you like to have a taste? Huh. Don't have to ask Paimon twice, or once even. Oh, I'd say you should probably have to ask at least once, get the idea <laughs> out there. We meet again, traveler. I trust <laughs> your journey is going well. Yeah, kind of took out the uh, Electro Archon and Inazuma. Kind of tamed her. She's not my Pokemon, so you know. Splendid. Therein lies the value of a journey. You're damn right. So come on. Why are you looking for our good consultants? Do enlighten us. And just in case you were wondering, we're on business too. We only tried Xiang Ling's dish since we just happened to be here. Business? What kind of business would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor possibly have during a festival? Even during the most joyous of holidays, life uh. still follows its natural course, does it not? Mm -hmm. Is that really so surprising? <laughs> but there isn't need to be alarmed. <clears throat> it's just a nice day today. And I thought we could go for a walk while doing a little promotion for our business. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could go ahead and chat away. Xiangling and I will go have some tea with the boss over there. Oh, Xiangli, please come get me when you're through here. Of course. I'll see you later, Director. Now then, Traveler. What brings you to see me today? Cut the black, give me an explanation. There we go. Ah, so that's mm. why you're here. Yes. 
The Yu Hong is honest, intelligent, and most diligent. She is capable of shouldering responsibilities that few others could. But everything has a balance, and one's health must certainly weigh in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone knows you're super knowledgeable. Paimon bets she would listen to someone like you. If I were still the mighty Rex Lapis, I might be able to help her see reason. But alas, <laughs> yeah. I'm now nobody but an ordinary consultant. My words no longer carry the same weight as they once did. Well, Besides, perhaps they do. I am by no means a close way. to the Yuhang. Taking the liberty to lecture her may just as easily produce the opposite of the desired effect. True, oh, true. you're right. We could take a more subtle, indirect approach to the matter. Such as telling a story that resonates with her, containing your message conveyed within it. Such a story can be achieved by referencing topics from her daily life. The story could prove even more effective if you weave in something about someone close to her. Uh, her father? Her doesn't really get it. Grandfather? Was it? I knew you'd understand what to do. <laughs> well done, traveler. Go collect some source materials for your story. Of course, I can always provide you with my advice, if needed. Once right. we have formulated the plot, you can tell the story to the Yuhang. You are on amiable terms with the Yuhang, which makes you the natural candidate. But he doesn't speak. So we need to talk with people who know Kuching, right? Hmm. So who should we start with? Greetings, everyone. Uh, I hope I'm not intruding. Huh? Oh! Lady Kuching! <laughs> Mr. Zhongli, I didn't expect to see you here. Thank you for all your assistance during the Rite of Parting. You are most welcome, Yu Hung. It was the least I could do. Hmm? Why? And what's with your strange expression? Uh, oh, I see. My apologies. I appear to have interrupted your conversation with Mr. Zhongli. Kuching, are you here looking for us? Yes. I was going to ask you to introduce me to the Adepti. I thought that it would be fitting to send them some festive gifts on behalf of the Liyue Qixing. But didn't you meet them when we were fighting to defend Liyue Harbor together? Yeah, but that wasn't you much of a meeting. We go and find them in Juyun Karst. Yes, but we only met briefly on that single occasion. The Adepti may have already forgotten about me, and I'm concerned it would be imprudent to show up so suddenly. Which is why I thought it would be more appropriate to ask you to introduce me first. <laughs> Did you try asking Ganyu? Unfortunately, Ganyu is on leave at the moment, so I'm unable to get in touch with her. I'm afraid I'll still require your assistance. So you even have to run around delivering gifts in person? <sighs> it sure doesn't seem easy to be a cheesing. <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. Let me go and prepare the gifts. I'm sorry to make you run errands with me during our big festival. I promise to make this quick, and I'll be sure to get you back in time to enjoy the fireworks show. Huh? T together? <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll go shit! To see the fireworks with you once I've finished my work. Oh, no, uh, not together! Which, Mr. Zhongli, oh. the fireworks show will be particularly exciting this year. Please, don't miss it. Ah, yes. Thank you for your kind reminder. I should be going now. Traveler, please come find me at the Jade Chamber once you're ready. And there she goes! <laughs> That's the Yu Hung. Efficient and reliable as ever. You're really reliable too, Zhang Li! Oh, he is the fucking Geo Archon. <laughs> Why, thank you, Paimon. Please, don't forget our earlier conversation. Once you've collected enough story material, we can meet here again and discuss things further. Ah, you've arrived. 
I've made all the necessary preparations and even packed some handmade snacks. Handmade snacks, let's go. Oh, that reminds me. I've also prepared some launch tubes made by Pungi. I hope the Adepti will like them. Is there anything else I should bring? Good. In that case, let's first pay Madam Ping a visit in the city before heading out to Joyun Karst. What the fuck was the point of coming up here? I swear, they just got us doing dumb shit at this point. <gasps> Yenfei? Let's- Hell yeah! Nice, I like it. We're, I would assume we're pretty much gonna be seeing every character from Liwei. Nice. The festive season is upon us. This is no time to be running hither and thither. We should relax and enjoy the season. I get it, Granny, but you know, having lots of clients is a good thing. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but really, child, who could be seeking your help during the lantern rite? It's a good question. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Madam Ping! Happy lantern rite! It's a pleasure to see you again, Madam Ping. How are you? Oh dear, well, look who's here. I'm so glad to see you all in time for the festival. Hello, Traveler. Long time no see. Oh, and Lady Kuching is here too. The Qixing have prepared some small gifts for you to celebrate this festive occasion. There are some seasonal goods, two bolts of fine silk, and some exotic flower seeds which I pick specifically for you, Madam Ping. I've brought all the lighter gifts with me, but the silks are still on the way. I just submitted them for delivery, so I'm sure they'll arrive in good time. Please, accept our humble gifts. I hope you'll find them to your liking. Wow, those gifts sound marvelous. Please be sure to thank the Chising on our behalf. Yes, how very nice of you. I'm sure the flowers will be most beautiful if you personally selected the seeds. Thank you very much, Kuching. Please, enjoy them. We intend to visit the other Adepti as well, so I'm afraid we must be going now. I presume you mean Cloud Retainer and the others? <laughs> Not yes, the fucking bird. <laughs> By the way, I've heard that you designed all the street decorations yourself, Kuching. You've decorated the city so beautifully, yet you don't even have the time to go and see it for yourself. What a pity. <laughs> Rub it in, why don't you? If they really enjoy spending time at the festival, you'll find her wandering around there whenever she can spare a moment. Come on, Granny. I wasn't wandering around. I was providing essential consultation to my clients. Well, I'm sure you were. Oh, is that so? <laughs> were you also holding consultations with clients while you stood in front of the green tiger fish stand for all that time? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was helping them calculate the prices. It's not easy, you know. I had to check a lot of different items. Mm -hmm. That's right. There are no holidays in my line of work. I have to be ready whenever my clients need me. That sounds exhausting. Oh, Paimon can't imagine a life without holidays. Well, though there are no set holidays, I do get to decide on my own schedule. I can always budget some time to relax. Otherwise, I would always look exhausted in front of potential clients. It'd be hard to land new cases after leaving a terrible first impression. Besides, we can't have that. what's the saying? Ah, yes. A rested worker is an efficient worker. Yeah. I was there many times when I was supervising the festival construction, but I haven't been there since. I was planning to go after I finished my work, but the work keeps piling up. This is just going to be a massive I'm date with Kaching. That's great. It. Yes, I should take the opportunity to show you around while you're here. But first, we should head to Joyun Karst. If you'll excuse us, Madam Ping, we'll be leaving now. Let's see. Which adeptus shall we visit first? Let's go visit that annoying bird. Oh, why don't we visit Cloud Retainer at Mount Outsong first? She usually stays inside her abode, so she'll be super easy to find. All right.
right? Cloud retainer it is. I wonder if we'll see Ganyu here. That'd be interesting. That kind of looks like Ganyu from... Yep, okay. All right. <laughs> there she is. Look at that. I love the music of this game. The festive season is fast approaching. What brings you to one's abode? Has the Ministry of Civil Affairs simply run out of work for you to do? Well, with Lantern Right just around the corner, I decided it was a good time to take leave and pay you a visit. But, um, where are Mooncarver and Mountain Shaper? Them? Oh, don't even get one started. Oh, is that not the Traveler and the Yuhong too? Hmm, a rare visitor indeed. Greetings, venerable adeptus. And greetings, Ganyu. Huh? Lady Kuching, I didn't expect to see you here. The Yuhong of the Chising. Here. Most fascinating. Hmm. Most courteous of you to travel hither and pay your respects. What is the purpose of your visit, if one may ask? It's the festive season, and on behalf of the Chising, I'd like to give you our regards. Please, accept our humble gifts. As the governing body of Liyue, the Chising must be busy with a myriad of affairs. And yet, you still take the time to visit one in this mountain abode. Eminently considerate of you. Oh, what an amusing cylindrical device. <laughs> what? I wonder what that could be. <laughs> this is a new type of firework which has been modified by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I've heard that you are fond of gadgets, so I've brought one for your amusement. Cloud Retainer. Although she is not outwardly opposed to us, she is still skeptical of Liyu being ruled by humans. Maybe she thinks humans are still too young to handle it. Hmm. No matter. With time, our strength will become apparent enough. Before then, we should try to give her a good impression. <laughs> Good thing I came prepared. Cloud Retainer has a great interest in gadgets, so she will certainly appreciate this gift. Watch her freak the fuck out and not want it. Kanyu has said that Cloud Retainer is very picky about food, so I made sure not to bring any snacks to avoid upsetting her. I've given everything thorough consideration. It should all go well. Goodness me. Who ever would have thought? Oh. My, how very interesting. <laughs> She's fucking entranced by it. It is intricate with ingenious design and is aesthetically agreeable. Yes, judging from Cloud Retainer's We're just having all of these mental success. thoughts, okay. Very good. One shall gladly accept this device. One surmises from Ganyu's words that... You also wish to see Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper. Pity, your timing is most unfortunate. Oh, are they not home? Oh, we wanted to see them too. Hmm, those two old fossils. The fuck? <laughs> Moon Carver has been most anxious to see how Liyue Harbor fares, but the agreement was clear. Liyue is now in the hands of the Chising. And he cannot simply roam into the city and begin supervising others' work as he pleases. So one tried to persuade him otherwise, proposing that if he could not be placated, he could go to the city disguised as a human and take a brief look around. Alas, he is too stubborn, too proud. He would have none of it. Thereafter, he left, claiming to have gone traveling. He has not returned since. Hmm. Mountain Shaper, however, is more open-minded. But he said he wished to look for something new with which to defend the tranquility of his mountain. Okay. He told one that he was leaving in search of treasures. And one has not heard from him since. Wait. Surely this is not a case of two old coots and cahoots. 
Rusing to excuse themselves that they might venture behind one's back. To scurry away and go traveling together. <laughs> they ditched you. <laughs> huh? What's everybody doing here? Wait a minute, what's that voice? Let me guess. I wish I could get a replay. Um... Oh, fuck. Who is it? I don't know. This voice. Is ah, it how could I not guess that? It's terrible. That's oh? disappointing. Oh? So Shenhua is here too. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Is she the one that you mentioned before? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Shenhua. Shenhua, this is Ganyu. You have most likely heard of her. Uh, oh, uh, hello. I'm Ganyu. I work at Yujing Terrace. I've heard that you returned to Liyua Harbor recently, so if you need anything, please feel hmm. free to come so this to This is me. the first time they're meeting? That's interesting. I, I would have already met before. Thank you. I brought some food from the city. I heard that during Lantern Rite, people in Liyue bring food to share with their friends. So here I am. Hmm. That's pretty epic. Oh no. I made a point of not bringing any food offerings. Is it going to be okay? Oh, and you even brought food for those two old fossils. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> After barely a few days in the city, you have learned so much. Thank you for these delectable edibles, Shenhe. <sighs> Huh? Everyone, you shall all be staying in Liyue Harbor in the future. One should like to think that you will all look out for each other. Is that understood? Will do. Yes, understood. This place is much livelier than I'd imagined. The Conqueror of Demons? One has not seen him of late. Oh, he's hanging out at that inn. Well, then he's probably not enjoying Karst. Yeah, Wang Shu Inn, that place. Let's go look for him in his usual spot, at Wang Shu Inn. In short, one is the only Adeptus who has elected to remain in Joyun Karst for the festival. Well, that's you are the one with the most screen time, Had so... Had you not come to visit... One would likely have stayed firmly put in one's abode to resume research of gadgets and mechanics. Well, thanks for showing up, Ganyu. Appreciate I it. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please accept my profuse apologies. <laughs> Why the sudden solemnity? It would certainly not be the first time one has been interrupted on your account. As a youngling, you did so love no. to scurry around the place while one's attention was monopolized by mechanisms. You were especially drawn to a certain implement one had made. Oh, what was it? Oh? Oh no, here she goes again. This could spell trouble for Ganyu. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I just remembered there's something I must attend to. I should be going. <laughs> How to get rid of Ganyu? Oh, why the sudden haste? With the Yuhang present, why not settle this matter here and now? Uh, n no. It's something very important. In fact, I must see Lady Ningguang about it immediately. A matter so pressing that you must find Ningguang in person? <clears throat> uh, yes. Ningguang and I have different scopes of work, you see, and... Ganyu has to report to both of us, respectively. It's indeed not easy for her. Lady Kuching is trying to help me. Yes, that's right. I'm very sorry, everyone. I will take my leave. Huh. Gone already. That child, she has always been easily ruffled. One can sympathize, however. It is no simple thing to be a secretary. Nearly every matter in Liyue Harbor, momentous or trivial, passes through Ganyu's diligent hands. 
But even as an adeptus, she must never neglect her own health, lest she fall prone to exhaustion. She falls asleep as her idol animation. What are you talking about? Konyu is an assiduous worker, apt to foregoing food and rest once she is busy. Please make sure she eats and sleeps properly whenever you see her. I will. Ganyu has always been a great asset to us. Her health is a priority, so I will take good care of her. The Yuhang, reliable as ever. <laughs> it was indeed a wise decision to leave Liyue Harbor to you. We will certainly strive to live up to your expectations. As for these edibles, hmm, they do look delectable indeed. You may leave them here. Shanha shall bring these into one's abode, and one shall pass them on to Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper once they have made their return. The food will probably spoil by them. This has an intriguing design. One must conduct a thorough What's study crab doing? of it. And one also wants to hear what Shenha has learned in Liyue like Harbor. walking around the firework. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, yes. I have many interesting stories to tell. Let us chat while one scrutinizes this device. Yeah! Don't you rest during the holidays? This is a festive season after all. <laughs> one has long been living secluded in the mountains and no longer observes the holidays. Worry not, one shall take appropriate care of oneself. Rest is crucial. If one is too devoted to one's research and falls ill, one shall be in no fit state to test the devices personally. Is it really that important to test it yourself? Of course. As one sows, so do they reap. And the joy of reaping is what one yearns for. If one spends all that time working on a machine, yet forgets to test the outcome... Hmm. That would be akin to a chef who never tries his own food, no? Yeah, I agree. It is unwise to put the cart before the horse. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Claude Retainer. Uh, enough idle chatter, everyone. One must go and continue one's research. Come, Shenha, this way. Away. <laughs> All righty then. Doesn't get to try their own food. Mm, that would be kind of weird. Cloud Retainer sure does know a lot about gadgets and cooking. Does she? Though? What is that crab she doing? She can be a bit strange sometimes. <gasps> but then again, okay. she's an adeptus. It's like dancing on the table now. That's the wisdom of an adeptus. She takes good care of those around her. Though she lives in seclusion, she also manages to bring everyone together. A hermit who's more social than most living in society. <laughs> what an interesting character. Traveler, Paimon, let's head to Wang Xuin. Perhaps we'll find the Conqueror of Demons there. I'm hoping. And the crab is gone. <laughs> All right. Let's ask Virgil Det where the Conqueror of Demons may be. Huh? Hold on! Isn't that... Chi-Chi! Oh! And the weird guy with the snake around his neck! Okay, I did not expect these guys to be here. Dr. Baiju, here are the herbs. I've picked lots of them. <laughs> Splendid! Let me pack up and then we can be on our way. I like how she just has hey, all these guys. talismans what slapped onto her. Dr. Baiju wanted herbs, so I came to collect herbs, lots of them, and Dr. Baiju came too. Traveler, Hi, I'm glad Mom. to finally see some good screen time oh, with Chi Chi. It's, it's a, a while. pleasure to see you all. We're here stocking up more herbs. Boo Boo Pharmacy always runs out of digestive herbs during the festival seasons. With Lantern right just around the corner, I thought we should get prepared. We came all this way to collect some herbs, and we've picked quite the assortment. 
We'll be on our way back to the pharmacy once the herbs are sorted. I certainly didn't expect to see the Yuhong all the way out here. I have some business to attend to here. Ah, I see. It's nearly time to celebrate Lantern Rite, and you're still running errands. Hardworking as always. I appreciate the sentiment, Dr. Baiju. I'm just doing my job. Kuching and the Traveler are very busy. And we are busy too. Everyone, keep it up. <laughs> Thanks, Chi Chi. <laughs> Some good pep talk right there. All right. Thank you, Chi Chi. We shouldn't tarry here any longer. Take care, you two. Uh, um, three. <laughs> Traveler, let's go find Virgildet. Ah, Lady Kuching. What? No, thank you. Shit. I'm just wondering if you might know where the Conqueror of Demons is. I was not is. supposed to hit X on that one. <laughs> yeah, where's the emo oh, boy at? We never inquire about Chow's whereabouts. But if he's here, he would be up on the rooftop terrace. Please feel free to go up and have a look. Hmm. He doesn't seem to be here. Perhaps we came at the wrong time. Maybe he's out battling somewhere again. Let's leave the gifts with the owner and ask her to... How can I help? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Where did you come from? You scared Paimon! Yes. Hello. I am Kuching. Yuhung of the Liyue Chising. The Yuhong. Yes, I saw you when we battled Osile. You are fierce with your blade. Uh, anyway, we're here to give you some lantern huh. right presents. Anyway, See, besides that, here's a bunch of gifts. Food. <laughs> Don't waste your delicacies on me. <sighs> Eradicating demons is my duty. You don't have to thank me. Karma is harmful to the human body, even if you have a stronger constitution than most. You should keep your distance from me when you can afford to. Hey, wait! Are you leaving? Aw, oh, come on! Lantern Rite is almost here! Don't you want to take a break? Like I said before, I have no liking for crowds. No, oh, you watched it last year. You're gonna watch it this year. Stop being a... Stop being you. We must remain vigilant of evil attacks, especially during the holidays. I will continue my patrol as usual. You should also exercise caution. And if there's any danger, good. And he's gone. He'll be back. Just leave the shit here, and he'll get it. Oh, he will. All right. We've completed our visits with all the Adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. Oh, no. What should we do? Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching. Lady Kuching. I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, Feng Yi? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching, let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingsa Village, just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But... <sighs> the person we left in charge came back shortly after and reported that all the fireworks in Qingsa Village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation to the Millileth and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa Village under escort. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. The Millileth are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left, so if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, 
We're done for. So, I was thinking to go to Chinxa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you, Lady Kuching. What should we do? I'll handle the matter personally. Civil affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them, and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Hmm. Maybe we can ask the Adepti for help. No, this is the this arrow of humans. Be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer or Xiao. <sighs> no, that would only make us look incompetent. Yeah. I'll handle this, Pungyi. That's right. We can take care of this together. Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Pungyi, go back to Liyue Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Chingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened. Oh, how could a whole batch of fireworks just vanish like that? Hello, Granny Roshin. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks theft. Oh, Lady Kaching, I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It's no trouble at all. Please, tell us what happened. Well, when they brought the fireworks, the children in the village were very excited. They were all gathered round, watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Oh, now let me remember. Oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just next to a house down the old road. But the very next day... All the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to the city to find a solution. Oh, the villagers here are worried too. The fireworks missing can only mean that there are thieves about. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Milliveth are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Millilith standing guard. Traveler, let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. This is the place. The fireworks were stolen here. The thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chingsa village. All too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. Hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> it's all the way down here. That's not it. Oh, okay. Are these footprints? Let's see where they lead. <laughs> okay. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Continue here. Let's keep following them. Is it gonna take us to like that little den area? It looks like it. So, are we straight up dealing with treasure hoarders again <laughs> for like the millionth time? Oh, yes. Okay, so this is whenever Chong Yun and Xing Shou come in. Sir, please. This is all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> a misunderstanding, you say? If so, then tell me. Why are you hiding here? Please, good sir. This really is just a misunderstanding. 
I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce Guild shipment. Something's happening over there. Let's go have a look. Oh, the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It must be. Please, save your breath. Restrain this fellow. Tightly now, we mustn't let him get away. Yes, young master. Uh, I was sure it was an evil spirit. Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. It's always the stupid ass treasure hoarders. Xing Chun Chun Yun! Hello! Well, hello, dear traveler. Our fates cross once again. What brings you here? Uh, excuse me. Please, tell me what is happening here. Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Rite, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages outside of Liyue Harbor. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh, so what's Chang Yun doing here? He is extra protection. Chang Yun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. say he thought there was an evil spirit because he's always thinking there's an evil I spirit see that you are not familiar with the story of old nope it is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers oh no nope, we are familiar with this we don't need to know we don't need to know <laughs> in ancient times liyue was plagued by evil spirits as people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival the yang energy would intensify and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates and pestered the passers-by. In order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits whence they came. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happened to have a shipment of goods to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. Singcho said he learned the story so he's about extra protection. spirits from ancient text. <laughs> the text vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Anyway... When we arrived at the area, Chong Yun sensed an ambush about to take place. Upon searching the area, we found a group of treasure hoarders. They tried to flee the moment we were upon them. Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding, but things seem quite clear as I see it. Good sir, just hear me out. Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, we never would have dared to attack. But you still would have attacked. The master if it wasn't. of the Feiyun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds, a, a, a true hero of the people. Butter him up, why don't you? Uh, so, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well, <laughs> who was it? I. Uh, well, uh, well, just trust me. We were definitely not trying to steal your goods. Please, please believe me. Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then, see that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure he's secured. Tie each of his fingers separately if you have to. He's not going to pull anything under our watch. Wait a second. Please also deliver this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <clears throat> it's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. Oh, <laughs> shit. So the plot thickens. <laughs> Thoroughly. Is your task clear? Damn. We mustn't disappoint the Yuang. There's a dark side to Kaching. Yes, young master, I understand. I like that. We'll be on our way. 
I've heard many good things about you, Master Xingqiu. Thank you for your assistance. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. Everyone, my intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. More than one group? Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chong Yun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints differing from those on the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush the Fei Yun Commerce Guild, they must have overestimated themselves. If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush, but rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods, if I may ask? Taking advantage of the elderly and children. What a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chongyun, let's go lend them a hand in Chinksa Village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chinksa Village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. I like how there's a kid in the background just standing there. <laughs> it seems we were only a moment away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Ching. <laughs> Thank you. Master Xingqiu, I'll leave Jingsa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. <sighs> it's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. It's so cool to fight for justice! The thieves who stole the fireworks haven't revealed themselves yet. I'll go have a look around. Traveler... Please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. I've troubled you enough already. I can handle the rest of this matter myself. Mm, no, I think we're going to continue this together. Uh, Kuching, are you planning to look for clues all by yourself? Um, somehow that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Oh, wait! You're in the Liwa Chising. Why don't you ask some of your subordinates to help? At least it'll be safer than investigating on your own. Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. The fireworks that were transported to Chingsa Village were quite bulky. They couldn't have gone far. Way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with reinforcements. Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. You can certainly trust me by now. Well, when you put it that way... It's settled then. Traveler, Paimon, please go get some rest. I'll go find you in Chingsa Village when I'm done. Okay. Not bad.